All right, legends, what's going on? Welcome back, man. Fucking, you know what's, you know when you can tell a game is really fucking good is when you're thinking about it when you're not playing and you're like, I can't wait to play it. That's what I've been experiencing this past couple of hours, man. Like, I've been fucking looking forward to this, especially because I know this part of the game is going to be fucking exciting. So, yeah, let's let's get started, man. We're here with Tommy doing who knows what. Got stragglers. How many? Just a handful. It's a fun. solid shot. You want to give it a whirl? Fucking no. Are you sure? Well, I'm feeling generous. <laughs> See that sign there? Red one? Try hitting that. Good way to draw them out of wherever it is. Got to aim higher. Yeah, Leave okay. the bullet room to drop. I see. There you go. Sounds attracting them. Yeah, we are on patrol. So, what the fuck? How do, how do I shoot him? Right? Too high. Make sure to compensate for the bullet drop. All right, we need to. Got one. There you go. See a few more. Gotcha. I like this thing. That's all of them. Easy work. More over this way if you want to keep shooting. Fuck okay. Us. It's actually fun as. Where are they coming from? Fords like to move through this area in winter. They always end up leaving behind a few stragglers. They do the same routes every year? Like a migration or something. Hmm. What's that about? Well, when the barometric pressure reaches a certain temperature... St shit, I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wait, this Check out the shed. It looks like they're moving downhill. Why? Hmm. Dead animal. Look up by the truck there. They're munching on that deer there. Guess they're hungry. Fuck, that was so close. Take your time. I'm counting three. Where's the truck? Out there. I feel like I'm an American You're sniper. Natural. Where's the animal though? Looks clear. Bet there's some this way. There's something by the ski lifts? Look way out there. Under those gondolas. By that tower. You see it? <sighs> it's far fucking. Woo! What you think? View. And so much. Ah. You're really getting it. Yes. Three left. Well done. A couple more. They always say when you're shooting an actual gun, you want to exhale. <laughs> Fuck! Now. Uh, Gonna have to tell Joel about this. Well, I'm not seeing any more. Yeah, me neither. All right. Let's head in. See if Joel's back. Sure. And her over. Hey, thanks for that. It's just what I needed. Sure. Ladies first. I'm not supposed to say anything, but Joel's worried about you. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Well, I'm sure there isn't. But if you don't talk to him, he's gonna think something's wrong. I talk to him. Well, you have to do more than hi and bye. Okay, 
I will try. At ease, fella. Oh, okay. Thought he was like trying to open a door. I'm like, there's one there. Like that was y'all shooting up there, right? Oh, just some stragglers. Ella got to try out my scope. How'd you like it? Yeah, feels good. Oh. I see you've, uh... You haven't gotten around to changing the string yet. I didn't know I was supposed to. <laughs> yeah, you, you'll, uh... We'll get you some new ones. Yeah. <clears throat> well, there's that music store down there. I bet they got guitar stuff. I mean, that area's long overdue for a sweep, anyway. I can keep watch. Where you say, kiddo? Sure. And that's our cue. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to come? Get on now. He's waiting. I wonder if there's loot here. Or like some special, some special shit. I think this is where they sign in, right? Why do you guys always volunteer for this patrol? It's got the most comfortable couch in all the lookouts. I sat by the fire, put my feet up. Mm, magic. Dude, this is like a sick lodge, man. Like, think about it. It's snowy, it's cold, and then you come down, sit down with friends. Have a hot fucking chocolate. <sighs> Can't wait. Out suddenly fascinating. I'm just making sure I have everything. Can't mm -hmm. wait for the snow. Here in Australia. So, you and Tommy cross anything when you was out? Just the few we saw from the ridge. You? Uh, you know. Found two runners in a house. Jesse tells me you're handling your own quite well on the group patrol. He's even recommending you for paired patrols. Though well, I think you're still a bit young for it. I'm a better shot than almost all of them. And I have more experience than most of the new recruits Look, who've... you think you're ready. I trust you. Okay. Thanks. You just do me a favor and start with the shorter routes for now. You know, see how you handle them. All right. Hey, you remember those, uh, Savage Starlight comic books that you're into? Yeah. Tommy and I found some when we were moving through that school the other day. Did you like them? Oh, you know what? Not really my cup of tea, but... Dr. Daniela Starr, I mean, she's pretty... She's a savage. Well, what she does to Captain Ryan in that death match. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he definitely deserved it, but... That was a nice twist how they escaped, though. <laughs> You're funny. Store. Yeah, I see it. You need a boost? I got it. Uh, I don't think we can go this way. What? Truly, you can just go there, right? Damn. Used to be able to swim across there. Okay, so now what? Well, if you're up for it, we can try cutting through that hotel. I'm up for it. <laughs> mm. 
surely through those doors. Right, and then... Problem solved. Damn it. Oh, that might be something. You think you can fit in there? Well, it's worth a shot. <laughs> Careful now. Yep. I'm through. Hold on. All right. Jeez, I wonder what's going to happen next, man. A dark, empty building. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Nah, it's the reason why I love this game, so. See anything? Uh, looking. You know, the drill guys loot up any chance of you, you know. Well, hello. Howdy. You impressed? No, nope. you're just too skinny. You need to eat more. <laughs> you're welcome. See a way through, but we got spores. Put your mask on. Ugh, do I have to? It's just us. What if we run into someone? Okay, fine. Eventually you're gonna slip up in front of someone you shouldn't. I've never slipped. You ain't told nobody, do, have you? Not Jesse, or Dina. Or... Of course not. Okay, good. <laughs> you ever been in here before? Uh, you just patrol the streets. Feeling like a bit of an oversight now. Maybe. Oh yeah, and there's all this ammo here. Let's just reload this bad boy, just in case we need a rifle. But More ammo. I mean, it's good, but like I always say, there's always a price you have to pay. <laughs> what was down there, Joel? So I don't even think we've been here, right? No. Let's see. Can we? Let's actually mold off for sure. Med kit for sure, Molotov for sure. That's it, and then let's grab this bad boy. What's this? Ruby, I'm sorry if our patrol overwhelmed you yesterday. We don't run into new people too often. I understand why you might have been nervous to follow us to Jackson. But it really is a nice place. We've got electricity, good crops. Could be something special for you and your family. My boys are different people here. Before Jackson, we were so focused on just staying alive. I didn't like who they were becoming. They start acting like people were running away from. These days, they're on roofs, fixing holes, digging trenches, blah, 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 hard work. But they come home every night excited about building up this place. They've got community, a reason to be accountable. You used to be a teacher. 
You could have a classroom of kids hungry for knowledge. This isn't a fantasy. Please consider just stopping by. Let me show you around. Think about like all the trust issues people would have, you know. Looks like it was shot a while back. When did the last patrol go through here? I'm not sure. Is it one of us? Man, only people went missing from Jackson and them teenagers from last year. This was too old. I was just roamed in. This way. Always. Come here. You're on patrol, right? Oh, fuck, man. You know what I might do? I just might throw a mold on. Take him out like that, right? Solves the issue. More infected. Get ready. Thanks for being stealthy, man. Like Joel. See, Joel is like fucking effective, man. Look at him. He's like shooting them for me. See, but... Look, I killed. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them, instead of like creeping around or stealthy, you just throw a bottle, you drag him to one spot, boom, Molotov... And boom, you're done. You're fucking sorted, man. None of this fucking fucking around. Oh, I'm going to sneak around. Time is money. Money is time. What can I make? I'm making it definitely another Molotov. Never know what we're encountering. Fuck, man, I'm panicking. It's down. All right. What a good shot, huh? I'm just worried about, yeah. How is that not a headshot, dude? Here comes some more. Where? Uh huh. How is that not a? Give up on those strings for today. 
Could have said it better myself. I think our only way out is forward now. Hmm. Holy fuck, man. Ah, oh, this is... What is this, T? Nice little diner, I guess, like a hotel. Sort of restaurant. A lobby. Reception area. Who knows. That looks like it might be something. Following you. Oh, fuck's sake. Fuck me! Bullets is you need. I'm done. Oh fuck, I'm panicking. Joel, shoot him, bro! Come on! Sleep won't shake off. I want to get out of here. Holy shit. Dude, that was fucking terrifying. I thought I was about to die, to be honest, because, like, I couldn't get the ammo. I kept running past it, like, I was panicking. Uh, that, that thing fucking, like, full chases here as well. I guess they, they chose, like, a nice little area. I mean, they designed it, but you know what I mean. There's like two bloaters back there. It'll be fine. Spores are clear. Oh, quite the fight back there, huh? Not often we get a bloater around these parts. Yeah. Jesse and Dina are gonna lose their shit when they hear about this. Let's deal with them too, anyway. A date, right? Uh, on and off. Why? I hear the way Jesse talks about you. No, Jesse and I are just friends. <laughs> no, no, no. I've got a pretty keen eye for these sort of things. 
Not so keen with this one. Let's see. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Is it just me, or is this shit like super big compared to Ali? Right? Incline bench press. Dumbbells. Gotta have your water, I guess. Not the best sort of gym, like three treadmills. And there's a fucking cable machine. Do some chest flies. Other fucking variations. And you can even change the angle. That's pretty fucking cool. What is this though? Oh, another pull up bar as well. Barbell. There's no squat rack though. Is there? There's two cycling things there for. Reception. you got to have the reception area. Hmm. <laughs> Guess it is a hotel gym though, so. I've been doing a deload like week. Because I just ran a marathon in the past couple days, so. I'm just like so keen to head to the gym again. First day back tomorrow, so. Big fucking day. Exciting shit. I don't know why I'm like bothering with this ammo. It's probably not even gonna help me, right? Or maybe I'll need it. Who knows? You think you can squeeze through there? See what it is? Yeah. Okay. Huh. I think it's them. A couple that ran away last year. I think you're right. Jackson is a wonderful place, but we got tired of hearing the stories of people suffering everywhere else. We wanted to save lives. We had good intentions. We didn't make it an hour before running into a horde. Now we're bitten. We've decided we're gonna end our lives instead of turning. Please tell our family and friends that we're sorry. Love Adam and Sydney. I shot her. I can't take my own life. I'm a fucking coward. Adam. Oh, Only they were immune, right? <clears throat> well, let's... Let's go get Tommy and we can get these bodies back to Jackson. Yeah. After you took me out of the Firefly Hospital... You said there were dozens of people like me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what they told me. I've never met another immune person before. Have you? I could be hiding it. You do. Do you believe that? Is now really the time for this? We traveled across the entire country to bring me to the Fireflies. I had so many questions for them. Why did you pull me out of there while I was still unconscious? 
because I let them run their tests. And when I saw that they were useless, I got us out of there. How do you know they were useless? Maybe if you, you just uh, would have given them more time, they could have figured something uh, out. There was no cure. There's nothing that could help these people or anybody else. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. But they ain't. And we need to get these kids back to their families. Is there something else you'd like to rehash? Jesse's passed out. Hey, let me do that. He's a good guy. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you tell him? Wasn't the right time. Still like hygienic. I don't think so. What about this? Anything worthwhile? Uh, actually, yeah. Abby? Uh, no. This girl, Nora. Her unit was assigned to this hospital. They were collecting supplies or something. This hospital? Yeah. Wait, you're gonna go now? Yeah, we have a lead. Wait, at least just wait for Jessie to rest up. She could be gone by then. Helly. We know her location. Maybe Tommy does too. What? Nothing. Good. Can you come help me with the door, please? Follow Route 5. That should take me to the hospital. Interesting fact, right? I just realized in this game and the first, The Last of Us, <laughs> that's funny, but um, the max people you like do missions with is three, right? Because it's the first one's like, fuck, what was her name? Like Joel, Ali, and then. Joel's fucking, not Tina, Tess, right? But you never go in a pack of four, which is, which is funnily enough. Anyways, if you've enjoyed this fucking segment, I hope you have because I fucking love playing that. That was a fucking sick part of the game. Anyways, thank you for watching. Stay safe out there and bye-bye.